Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chaturong Thanasi Langkun, the instructor from Nakhon Ratasima Rajapat University, Thailand. Today is a wonderful day and I am very glad to present my research study entitled A Construction of Special Education Centers Management Paradigm in Thailand. I will present as follow issue the research background, the research objective, the scope of the research, the research methodology, the research result, and the recommendation. Firstly, I would like to talk about the research background. The Special Education Center is under the Ministry of Education. This is managing as follow time educational law. And then the special education center is organizing a care and care system for special education. So the special education center management paradigm is very important. The missions and the managing of the special education center is very important issue because there are service area structures role and responsibility related to promotion development and education for people with special needs in various activities the researcher therefore want to study the paradigm which is the best practice of the special education center to present empirical data on the operations of the special education center. This will be important information that can be applied to improve the operation to be more efficient and effective. The research objective First, to study the characteristics of special education center management. Second, to present the best practice of special education center management paradigm process. Third, to investigate the related factors of special education center management. And fourth, to study the consequence from the phenomenon of special education center management. The scope of research. The research area is the best practice mm -hmm. of special education center in Thailand. A case study of regional special education center 11, Nakhon Rajasima province, Thailand. There are the administrator, teachers, and staff in the regional special education center 11 as key information. The contents include the management characters, the paradigm process, the related factors, and the consequence of phenomena. The conceptual framework are divided into three parts. Firstly, I am focusing on the best practice phenomena of special education center management. The second, they are the management characters the paradigm process, and the related factor of special education center management from two parts that's affecting to the consequence of management process. The research methodology. The research methodology is qualitative research by using the in-depth interview, focus group discussion, observation and documentary analysis. The research instruments were structural interviewing from and the focus group discussion issue. The research is capturing data and analyzing by content analysis. There are pictures of data capturing in special education center the research result. I would like to present 
the result from the phenomenal study of special education center management as follows the issue. First, the characteristic of special education center management, the administrative characteristic corresponds to the role of the special education center as specified in the eight tasks there are organizing and promoting education in the initial assistance center, develop and train the staff, promote and support the individual education, connection service, providing service for the rehabilitation, organizing educational information system, co-educational support system in the province. Other obligations as required by law. Initial Assistance Center organize, promote, and support educational in the period and center early interventions and disability preparedness for the child development center kindergarten inclusive education school special disability school disability special education center and related department etc develop and train the staff training workshop and develop the special education knowledge for administrators, teacher, or related party. Promote the production of media, manual, and academic documents. Workshop promote and support institutions about special education training. Promote and support the individual education. Promote and support general education institutions. Support personal in the learning and teaching management for the disabled families, educational institutions, and all sector in the province. Orange for production promotion, providing, counseling, service, knowledge, development, public site, teaching, and learning material. Connection service, coordination network for transitional service in the interdisciplinary manner. Educational institution have a process for managing inter-service provision for people with disability by survey, prepare, and store data of relevant departments. Coordinate for the disabled to receive other service. Providing service for the rehabilitation, providing service that take into account family participation and the community is an important factor affecting the potential development and assistance for the disabled. Organizing educational process to enhance capacity for the special needs of people with disability. Organizing educational information systems. Compile laws, cabinets, resolutions, role, regulations, policy. Create information database about the disabled registration. 
media service and other educational assistance for people with disability. Gather knowledge resource experts agency that provides service for people with disabilities and coordinate and disseminate information with relevant networks. Core educational support system. Encourage educational institutions that provide full education to appoint a co-educational management committee of educational institutions. Supporting persons with educational disabilities to receive facility, media, service, and assistance. Encourage educational institutions to organize teaching and learning process evaluation according to individual education. Promote and jointly solve various obstacles in order to develop an effective learning management. Author obligations as required by law. Author commitment as specified by time educational law. The special projects or policy from the Ministry of Education. Two, the paradigm of special education center management. The paradigm of special educational center management include structuring, staffing, mission, driving, evaluations, reflecting work and task development, and coordinating. Structuring, there are academic administration group, planning and budget management group, general administration group, personal management group. Staffing, they are recruiting and appointment personnel, human resource development, health training the system and supervising personnel, personal assessment system. Mission driving their special education goal, special education strategy, special education mechanism for management process, management evaluation process. Evaluating, they are personal evaluating, work process evaluating, quality, efficiency and effectiveness evaluation, achievement and consequence evaluation. Reflecting, reflecting process for improve, modify, promote, and develop that's affecting to work and task development. Coordinating include director and teacher and staff, teacher and student, special education center and the network, special education center and the community. Three, the related factor with special education center management. The related factors with special education center management include the transformational policy, the director leadership, the educational resource, the supporting and comparing between the connections and professional staff and the organizational culture. Policies, they are time educational law, special education law, the educational ministry policy, office of special education administration policy, director 
leadership. They are knowledge, experience, ethic, and moral, and director policy. Educational resource, they are internal resource and external resource. Most of internal resource and external resource include man, money, material, and manage. The supporting and cooperating between the connection, they are special education center, school, organization, and community. The professional staff, they are knowledge, experience and skill, attitude, and teamwork. Organizational culture, they are human relationship, educational climate, and good governance. Four, the consequence of special education center management. The best practice of special education center related with special need education opportunity and special education quality. The stakeholder include the professional director or administrator team, the professional teacher and staff. The quality of special need education students and the community participation. The recommendation from the result special education center should design such office as follow the administrative characteristic. The special education center should develop the handbook about special need education management guideline. The participation and cooperation are very important for special education center mission. And the last recommendation, design the model or strategies about special education management. Thank you for your attention.